My name is Ed Sharani, and today I'm going to be talking about migrating content from Teradata over to Microsoft Azure SQL on the cloud. So uh, before I begin, uh, with any migration project, regardless of the uh, tools that are being used, there are certain steps that an organization should undergo. The first being, like any SDLC project, requirements gathering, fact finding, identifying your business rules. Those are all very important in general um, to ensure a successful migration to your destination repository. Um, occasionally, it'll make sense to apply a proof of concept or a prototype uh, to ensure that the migration will, in fact, at a large scale, go smoothly. Uh, so if given the bandwidth and capability, it's a highly suggested um, uh, exercise that an, or an organization should, should undergo. So once you've done that, um, the next step would be to, to identify the data layer and data model. And you want to ensure that that is designed optimally for your organization or, and, and designed in a manner that meets your organization's performance expectations and, and things of that nature. Uh, so once that data modeling has been designed um, according to your organization's liking, the next step is to identify the migration path itself. How am I going to go about migrating this content from one uh, data source to another? Um, so if you have an on-prem uh, a Teradata uh, um, implementation and you want to use the, the Microsoft Gateway in order to migrate that content over depending upon what, which route you go with, make sure that that's in place, so on and so forth. So a number of things that come to mind in terms of identifying the migration path and then ultimately identifying the execution of the migration itself, uh, ensuring that any sort of system testing is done at the end to ensure data quality and data integrity. Uh, so that uh, users will know that for their uh, that the information that's coming up in their screen is in fact accurate and 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 provides them meaning with meaningful information that they can use for their day-to-day -day, um, activities. So how do I go about performing this migration? Well, a number of different ways you can go about doing it. Um, a couple that come to mind um, include leveraging some of the other Microsoft tools out there. Uh, Data Factory, if your organization purchased that, SSIS. Those can help you with the migration itself, identifying the source and, and migrating that content over into the destination. Uh, there are other third-party tools that you can use. Um, one that comes to mind is Datometry's HyperQ a tool. Um, so that could help and facilitate a migration from Teradata over to uh, Microsoft Azure SQL on the cloud. Now say you don't have any of those things. Um, can I just create flat files from Teradata and migrate those over into Microsoft Azure SQL on the cloud? Absolutely. Is that the recommended approach? Mm, probably not, but given uh, sometimes budgets and, and other, other reasons, um, uh, your organization may have certain security associated with the type of software that can be installed on your, on, on your, uh, um, soft, on your computers or laptops, things like that. So, you know, um, whatever the reason may be, uh, it, it may make sense to perform this sort of more traditional route, but upon doing so, you, have to, you need to make sure that any views that were created, um, any sort of indexing hierarchies, things of that nature that may have been applied to your, um, to, to your Teradata environment are in fact carried over in, and implemented in parallel in the Microsoft Azure SQL environment. So I just thought I'd share a little bit of my, about my thoughts about uh, uh, migrating from Teradata over to Microsoft SQL on the cloud. If your organization is interested in learning more, please click on one of the links below. Um, we have consultants that have performed every variation of these type of migrations, and we'd be happy to talk to you guys more about, about it. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.